Hi all, welcome to a new video. So in today's video we are going to see how we can automate a particular trade by using UiPath. So this is actually very easy, it doesn't require much of a coding skills. So it is just based on some workflows, we just need to configure some workflows and we can get it done. So let us see how we can automate a particular trade. So let's get started. So first you need to open Google and after that you need to type UiPath and you need to click on this particular link. So it takes you to the UiPath website and after that you need to click on try UiPath free here. So once you click on that you should be able to sign up to UiPath. So you can either sign up using your Google account or you can use your email email ID to do the sign up. Since I already have the account, it is asking me to continue with my existing account. So I'll just say continue and it will take me to my existing account which I have already created. So as you can see, now we have successfully logged into the UiPath website. So the next step is to download the UiPath Studio. So for that you need to click on this download UiPath Studio button and after that the software will get downloaded. So this UiPath Studio is where we are going to create our robot to automate any of the process. So today we will be seeing how we can automate a trading process but it can be used for multiple automation process actually. So the software is around 450 MB. So maybe approximately it will take 5 minutes to get it downloaded. So once the software is downloaded, you need to double click on that exe file and you need to get the software installed in your system. So as you can see now, the software is getting installed in my system. So it will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes to complete the installation. So we need to wait for a while. So now as you can see the installation is complete. So I'm just trying to open the UiPath Studio now. So it is getting loaded. So as you can see this is the UiPath studio and we have different options here so first we get a tutorial we can see the some tutorial videos and how we can get started with the UiPath so all these links are available so if you want you can explore that so I'll close this now and you need to click on this process option here so this is where we need to create our automated robot so we need to say create so it is getting loaded now. So loading also takes a while and after that this is the page which you can see and this is where we will be designing our robot. So in today's video I will only be showing the robot which I have already created. So in the next video I will be showing how I have created this, what are the steps to be done. So let us see how this works. So I am just opening one of the robot which I have already created. So as you can see in the screen, this is the automated robot or the process which I have created. So basically what it does is, it first opens the charting website. So the, I have created my screener. So it executes my screener and it downloads those stocks which is filtered out from the screener in the excel format and after that it reads the excel file and it populates those stocks from the excel to my kites account and after that the order will get placed through my kites account so that's how i have built this process so i'll execute and i'll show you how this works so as you can see i have run the file so it opens the charting website and after that it goes to the dashboard 
and it select the screen which I have created and after that it's gonna download the Excel so the download Excel is happening in background and after that it will open my kites account so as you can see now it's opened the kites account so if you notice in the bottom an Excel is getting blinked actually so it is basically taking my password from the Excel which I have maintained and it is trying to log into my kites account so this is my kites account and now it will automatically enter the stock from the Excel and it will try to place the order so now since it is not market hours it, the order hasn't got placed but this is how this it will work so in the upcoming videos we will be seeing how we can create this bot and also how to deploy it so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching